So in today's video, I'm going to show you a cheap and easy way of building your own window screens for your school bus conversion. That way you can keep the bugs out and your windows open. Let's check it out. So these are all the supplies that you're gonna need in order to make your own screen. You need screen channel, frame corners, screen, spline, spline tool. You'll need two different sizes of punches. This punch is going to be for making divots in the screen frame, and then this punch is going to be for pushing in the corners of the screen spline. Hammer for the punch as well as two separate razor blades, one for cutting the screen and one for cutting the screen along the edges once the spline is pressed in place. Okay, so when you go to make your screens, you're gonna to wanna to go through to each individual window and measure the width and height so that you know exactly what frame size. Once you have that measurement, you're going to take three quarters of an inch off of each end, so an inch and a half total to accommodate for your two corners that are gonna go in place. On our Bluebird All-American bus, not every window was exactly the same width. So we went through and measured each individual window and then cut the framing accordingly. You're going to want to take your two shortest pieces with the channel facing up and the grooves facing in. You'll slide each corner so it looks just like that. Then you'll do the same thing with the other piece. Then you'll take your longer pieces again with the grooves facing in the same direction. With these plastic corners, they will only actually fit one way, so you can't really screw it up. And just like that, you have your assembled screen frame. Now you're going to take your punch tool with the divot end, and you're going to place a little indent in each one of the screen frames. This presses it in just a little bit to make sure that that corner stays together. And so you'll just go around and do that on every single one of the corners. Now your screen is ready to have the screen material and spline attached. So we've already pre-cut our screen material which you want it to overlap the entirety of the screen frame just by a little bit on all four edges. Now, this is a 36 inch wide piece of screen that was 25 feet long entirely. So you're gonna have quite a bit more on two of the edges than you will on the other two. So once you get your screen fit squarely in place, you're gonna take your spline and you're just going to roughly measure out the length that you need. And on this first one, you don't have to worry about it getting pulled too tightly as you're going to tighten it up as you go around all of the edges. But starting in the middle, you're going to gently press in that spline and then take your spline tool and while pulling on the spline a little bit to help stretch it out, that'll help ease it into the crevice. And now you'll just take your tool and go along and you can see it pulls the screen tightly into that channel. And then you go the other direction. Now, once you have it done like that, you'll just take your little straight blade and you're just gonna cut off that little bit on the end and take your small punch tool and press that in. And then do the same on the other side.
Okay, so now that you have one edge started, you're gonna flip the screen around the other direction. And on this one, again, you're gonna wanna straighten up the screen so it's not crooked in any way. Get it stretched along. Take your piece of spline. Now what you're gonna do on this one is you're going to gently pull the screen material tight and press the spline in at the same time. Again, pulling the spline as you go along. And then coming back the other direction. Now you can see if it starts to bubble up just a little bit, you wanna pull your screen tight. Again, pulling your spline at the same time, and then come back and you'll see that disappear. You can see it's starting to tighten up all the way along. Now you're just gonna repeat the process on the other edges. Okay, and just like you did on the other one now, on this final piece, you wanna make sure not to pull it too tight. Otherwise, you can see it's going to bow the frame in. So you just kind of roll it over the edge. And I actually found on our screens, it worked better to have the screen material be a little looser than tighter because that way the bus can still flex as it's going down the road and not worry about bending or popping the screens out of place, even though they will be somewhat screwed in and tacked in place. Okay, and just like that, you have your almost totally completed screen. The last thing to do is cut off all of the excess. So you're going to take your flat razor blade and you're going to come right into this edge just above the spline. And you can see that cuts it perfectly away and then just go around all the other edges and do the exact same process. And just like that, there's your completed screen. Now it's time to just get it put in place. So the tools that you'll need in order to install your new window screens is a cordless drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Now this is a cobalt drill bit which is meant for hardened steel. A cordless impact driver. You can also use your cordless drill if you don't have an impact driver, but the impact driver will make it a little bit easier using the self-tapping screws that I'm going to show you next. And then you will also need a package of storm fasteners. You will need multiple packages depending upon how many window screens you're putting in and then self-tapping 5 8 inch screws. These actually have a widened washer head so that it will help hold the fasteners on really securely. Okay, so now that you have all of your screens made, first thing that you're going to want to do is wash your windows. Hopefully you know how to do that, so I'm not going to take the time to show you. You'll want to make sure that the track is on the inside of the window. So you're just going to fit it in place. The top of the window screen is going to slide into the groove above the window. And then you're just going to get the frame of the screen right around the window. If I take it off, you'll see that there is a little lip 
right here on the window frame and that's where the screen is just going to rest against. And so as you can see, it fits right there flush against there. Now, you'll wanna make sure that the window screen is centered right in that area. Then you're going to take one of your storm clips here and you're gonna take the storm clip and you're going to place it so that the foot of the storm clip is right in the middle of the frame and then it should be close to the corner so that it's keeping this pressed in against this lip. So now that you have your storm clip in place, you're going to take your 1 8 inch drill and you're gonna come almost to the end of the storm clip and go ahead and just get your hole started. And there we go. Now you've got your first hole. Again, check and make sure that you have everything lined up properly. Now you're just gonna screw it in place. So now using your impact driver along with your washer head self-tapping screws, you're just going to run it in place. And just like that, your screen is fixed nice and tight and firmly in place. So now that you have your hole tapped with your screw, you'll just wanna come back and put a bead of silicone on that hole and then put your screw back in place to make sure it's watertight. Okay, so I went ahead and already drilled my second hole. Now I'm just gonna secure my storm leg. And just like that, the screen is fully secure will hold up to freeway speeds without any issues. And if you ever need to take it off to clean your window or anything, all you have to do is remove these two screws and then go ahead and put another bead of silicone before you secure them back in place. So we purchased all of these materials from a local Home Depot, roughly about $150 for all of the materials to do 11 screens. Now I did find prefabricated screens that ranged anywhere from $32 to $55, depending upon those size. Now those were designed for prefabricated windows that they already carried. They did offer the ability to make custom screens, which would be on the higher end of that price range. Because these are not a standard window size, you would have to have somebody make these types of screens. So following these instructions, you can see it's really easy to make these screens yourself and save yourself quite a bit of money. Since it was $150 for the materials divided by 11 screens, it's roughly about $14 per screen and only a couple of hours time to make them and install them. And it's just that simple. Now you have the screens for your bus. Next thing to do is just repeat the process on the rest of the bus. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and make sure and hit that bell icon so you don't miss another video. Thanks for watching. So on today's video, I'm gonna show you a very cheap, easy way of making your own I don't like that. That sucked. <laughs> I, let's redo that.